love Halloween. It's one of my favorite times of the year. Halloween, Christmas. It's just so fun to get dressed up and of course I love doing makeup and hair so it's a fun way to do some crazy looks that you would never usually do. The last look I did was a creepy Halloween Horror Nights icon um, Chance the Harlequin look. And it was pretty easy so it was spooky this time I wanted to go something pretty and fun and let's be honest, who doesn't love mermaids? I mean, I'm a, with that saying, always be yourself unless you can be a mermaid. So today I said I don't want to be a mermaid. I wish I could go to like five different Halloween parties or something because I have a million costume looks I want to do but there's just not enough time. I was hoping I could do more but... It didn't happen, but I had to get this one in before Halloween came because huh, how could you not want to be a mermaid? Anyway, um, it's actually pretty easy. It took a little bit of time because honestly I just didn't know what I was doing going into it, so I winged it and figured it out along the way. I just used a lot of products I already had. I didn't go buy much new stuff, so if you already have um, some blues, pinks, greens, teals, purples, like those kind of colors, shimmeries, um, you're set. If not, just go hit up like Dollar Tree or Walmart or Target or, you know, Wet n Wild, the cheap station, get some colors. Um, you don't have to use the exact ones that I did, I just used what I had on hand. Yeah, there's really, all you need is your makeup colors, um, some accessories, whatever costume you're going to wear, and some fishnet pantyhose, that's how you get the scaly looks. Anyway, you can do any colors you want. I love pinks, purples, teals, so that's what I went with, but, you know, golds oranges, browns, blues, anything you want, do it. <laughs> Make it your own, have fun with it. It's a mermaid, you can't go wrong. All mermaids are beautiful, you're beautiful. Anyway, I hope you guys um, enjoy this tutorial and if you want to see how to get this mermaid look, then keep watching. Okay, makeup free, let's get started. I'm gonna clip my hair back and start by priming my face so this makeup look lasts all night. Um, next, I'm going in with foundation. I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation with these Sephora Luminizing Drops to add a little bit of shimmer. I'm just going to put a little bit in the back of my hand and mix them both together and apply it. I like this foundation because it's water-based, so it doesn't give me a really thick consistency on my face for this look. And then the shimmering drops help give it a little bit of shimmer because we're being a mermaid. we got to be shimmery, right? I'm just going to apply this using a damp beauty sponge, a beauty blender. Next, moving on to concealer, I'm using the same in concealer, um, and I'm going to go ahead and put that under my eyes, and then in the center of my forehead, down the center of my nose, and on my chin to highlight the center of my face. And using the same damp beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend that in by pressing and not rubbing. Next, just to set my eyes so they don't crease, I'm setting it with a skin-colored eyeshadow. Um, just because I have hooded eyes and they tend to crease. And then going in with my trusty RCMA No Color Setting Powder and that same beauty sponge, I'm going to apply it right under the eyes. And this will A, help set my concealer, and B, help prevent any fallout from my eyeshadow look that I'm doing. Time to start with eyes. I'm using this Jouer Cosmetics Mermaid Iridescent Eyeshadow Palette finally. Whoops, yep, things are falling, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to start with this baby pink color, this pink pearl, and I'm using this blending brush, and I'm just going to map out the shape that I want my eyeshadow to be. You can't really see this. It is pretty sheer, but it just helps kind of guide you in the direction. So I'm applying this in the crease, above the crease, and I'm kind of winging it out past the eyebrow. So now that I have a light guide, I'm going to go in with this brighter pink. This is ColourPop Slave to Pink on the same brush. And I'm taking that directly on top of where I did the light pink. In the crease, right above the crease, and winging it out past the eyebrow. And then I'm going to lightly buff it upward toward the brow. And I'm kind of doing a cut crease here, but nothing too fancy. Just kind of following the natural shape of my eye and blending and buffing so that it blends nicely and there's no harsh lines. Going back in with that same palette, I'm taking the light blue color and I'm using the same brush and I'm going to go right underneath the pink onto the lid. I'm going to fan it out as well and then I'm going to get a flat shader brush and start packing that same color onto the lid. And once I've gotten it the color and pigmentation that I want, I'm going back in with that palette. I'm using my MAC 217 brush here and I'm using the darker color from the palette and I'm focusing on the outer corner of my eye and the crease just to kind of deepen and darken it up, um, creating the kind of outer V and deepening the crease. And I'm going to fan this out as well so that you can see a gradient of the pink, the light blue, and the dark blue. And then using a blending brush, I'm just going to kind of buff those together so there's no harsh lines and everything blends seamlessly together. 
Now I'm taking this small detail brush and some Violet Voss glitter. It's a pinkish gold and the Violet Voss glue. I'm going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand, dab my brush in there, dab the brush into the glitter, and then onto my eyelid. I'm going to pat this. You don't want to wipe it because then it will wipe off the eyeshadow underneath. So just pat it onto the lid um, as high up as you want it to go. Pause for a dance break, please. Woo! So I decided I wanted my eyes a little more teal, so I am using my MAC 217 brush and I'm taking this kind of where I did the lighter blue in the crease, fanning it out, and just sort of blending it into the, to the two different blue colors because I wanted it to pop and be a little brighter. And then again with a blending brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines and no loose product. Now I'm taking the small detail brush and I'm using pearl, the, or coconut, I'm sorry, the white color in the palette. And I'm putting that on the inner corner of my eyes for a highlight and I'm also going to put that right under the brow. Now it's time to wipe off that powder just using a fluffy powder brush. Um, you should take off any fallout you have as well. And dance break again. I'm going to super speed through my brows but I'm filling them in a little thicker and fuller than I normally would for this look. And then I just get really excited about the difference Ooh. brows can make. Brows make yep. such a, a difference. difference. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to set my face with this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder, just very, very lightly covering the foundation so that my makeup lasts all night. Now I'm going to go in and warm up the face with uh, this MAC powder. It's a couple of shades darker than my skin tone, and I'm just going to do that on the cheekbones, on the forehead, and I did it on a little on my neck, and now I'm going to go in with the contour. Um, I feel like mermaids have chiseled, thin faces, so I wanted to make my contour pretty dramatic and try to slim up my face. I'm also going to take this contour on the hairline of my forehead just to kind of narrow my forehead and on the jaw and chin just to give me kind of a more heart-shaped face. My face is a little rounded. Um, just be careful if you do this. Be sure to blend all the way down so that there's no harsh lines and it looks natural. I'm also going to quickly contour my nose with an eyeshadow brush um, just to kind of make it a little thinner and longer looking. Now I'm going to give my cheeks a slight flush of color with this very pale pink and just a little bit of color because we're going to be adding a lot of other dimension and color to it. I'm going in with my MAC Pro Emphasize Powder just to highlight the center of our face where we did concealer earlier, just kind of brighten it up a little bit. And now back to the bright pink and a crease brush. I'm going to take this under my eyes um, right up to the waterline. I'm taking this pink on the inner court inner corner to the center and then I'm going to go in with a darker blue on the outer portion um, back to that teal that we used uh, last on our eyelid. I'm going to quick curl my lashes and then add a thin coat of mascara. I'm using this Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara that I love right now. And then we're going to add some falsies. I'm using these Coco Lashes Queen Bees and this House of Lashes glue. The stuff lasts all night. Um, I just take a little bit, apply it to the lash band, let it dry for about 60 seconds until it gets tacky, and then put the lashes on with tweezers. Once I had my lashes on, I decided I wanted to add a green wing liner. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty hard to do with these lashes on because I couldn't really see what I was doing, but I had this tealish blue shimmery liner in my makeup collection. I just thought it would be a really fun touch. So if you have something like this, cool. If not, don't stress it. Um, and then I decided I wanted to add some glitter on top of it. So I had this blue glitter liner, and I'm just going right over the top of that and underneath the lower lash line. Next I'm using this sheer light green shimmery loose eyeshadow that I have. I have no idea who makes it, but I'm using that on an angled powder brush to highlight the cheekbones. And now for the fun part! We're going to use fishnet pantyhose to make the scales. I'm not going to lie, I got the kid size in hot pink and they were really tough to get on and I'm having to cut them in the back because kids legs apparently are small and then I couldn't see so I cut eyes and then I couldn't breathe so I cut a mouth and it was just like getting claustrophobic. So. If you're like me, do that. So we're going to start creating the scales. I'm taking this flat stippling brush and I'm wetting it with a little bit of Max Fix Plus and I'm taking that hot pink color, dipping it in the shadow and then just where I would normally contour around the hairline, on the cheeks, on the jaw, a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the neck, I am applying this and I'm kind of pressing it in instead of blending. Um, once I have all the pink on that I want, I'm going in with that turquoise blue and just kind of going right on top of it, leaving a little bit of pink showing out but this is a little more dramatic, so um, it shows up a lot better than pink. You may need to manipulate the fishnet pantyhose so that you can get it where um, your skin's exposed a little more, but it will work just fine. I'm taking that again on the cheekbone and then onto the jawline, a little bit onto the chin and to the neck. I'm taking a little bit of a pearly iridescent eyeshadow and just kind of going over that to give me a little bit more shimmer. 
And now we're done looking like Barbie bank robber. I'm cutting myself out of this so I don't mess up the scales, do what works for you, but I found this to be the easier way. And then I was so excited to see what it looked like. I decided I wanted to make my um, scales a little more dramatic, so I just placed the um, fishnets on there and started stippling the teal on top of my cheekbones there. And then my poor husband got home. I need your assistance. Why? Come here. Why? I need you to hold this. I just do this. Okay. That works. I know, isn't he the best? <laughs> um, it's because I cut my pantyhose and I couldn't get it over my head again. So if you don't do that, then you should be set. Um, then I decided to be creative and create this fishnet beard because I wanted more on my chin and my jaw. I mean, just get creative, make it work. If there's a will, there's a way, right? Yeah. So once I had the scales, I decided I wanted to add a little more to the eyes. So I went back to that teal and I just started smoking out the lower lash line and adding a little more drama. Um, then I decided I wanted to add some sparkle to the brows, so I found this gold liner and just added a little bit of gold sparkle into my brows. And then it was time for lips. I decided to go with a bright purpley pink kind of color. So I'm using this Lime Crime lipstick in the color Utopia. Then I decided to add a little bit of shimmer, so I'm using that pearl white eyeshadow in the center of the lips. I'm gonna go in and add some gloss in a little bit, but not yet. Um, let me just undress for a second, and now we're gonna create some scales on um, my arms and on my chest using the fishnet. So I just decided to put it, my arm into the leg part of the fishnets, and it seemed to work really well. And again, using the same colors I did on my face, just create scales the same way. And then my husband had to come help me again because I needed some on my collarbones and I just was having trouble multitasking. So thank you, husband. Um, here's the gloss that I add on. It's Jouer Skinny Dip for a little bit of shimmer and shininess in the center of my lips. And finally, time to spray, spray, spray everywhere with a setting spray so that this stays on all night, doesn't go anywhere. Don't choke on it. Don't inhale it. <laughs> um, I decided since I was going Glam Mermaid, I wanted to bedazzle myself, so I found these jewels and pearls um, at a craft store. I think I got these at Joann's for like five bucks. Just kind of play with them, position them all over your face, find out where you want them to go. I just stuck them with the adhesive that's on there, but really a glitter glue or a lash glue would be ideal if you're going to leave this on all night. Just apply it to the back of them and stick them on um, anywhere you want. There's no rhyme or reason. And that completes the makeup look, but I decided I want to do something with my hair. So I already had it curled, so now I'm adding some big sexy hair um, dry shampoo to add some volume, and I'm teasing it to give it some va va voom. You can leave it down like this or add some accessories. I found this um, starfish in a potpourri bag that I had and thought it would be cute and I also it came with a bunch of seashells you can find those pretty much anywhere though and they make for cute mermaid hair accessories um, and then I decided that instead of leaving it down I wanted to braid my hair so I put it in a very loose chunky braid pulled out some pieces to make it messy and sexy and then I added the starfish into it um, for the starfish I didn't want to hot glue it so I just wrapped around a clear elastic a couple times and then I stuck a bobby pin in the clear elastic and stuck in my hair. It's kind of out of frame here, but that's how I got it to secure and stick in my hair without having to wear a headband. And ta-da, we're done and ready for Halloween. So that is it. I hope you guys like it. It's really not that hard. Like I said, it's super easy. It's just, um, it requires a little bit of patience, but I believe in you. You can do it. If you have any questions, please, please, please leave me a comment down below. Message me, tweet me, Instagram me, snap me, whatever. I'll link all of that down below. I hope you guys have a super happy Halloween. If you do end up recreating this look, please tag me on Instagram. In Instagram. It's at Blakely's Blonde Life. I'll link that down below too. Or snap me or tweet me something. Just I just want to see it. I want to know that um, this tutorial helped and you were able to pull off a mermaid look based on my instructions. So, anyway, happy Halloween. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Her nose is dripping. Gross. It's a sexy mermaid. Uh, just my head. Why not? Maybe the kids' ones are a bad idea. Don't get the kids, bad idea.